My efforts devoted to the promotion of human dignity, to respect all of human rights, to respect human, societal, cultural, and religious pluralism and diversity is rooted in my faith in our Judeo-Christian creator God, who is a God of love, compassion, mercy, and justice. This God of love, the creator of all, is a God who desires unity and harmony of all created. He seeks unity. He does not seek uniformity. And if we look at the world, a global world, we see and notice such great diversity and pluralism in creation. And he is the creator of all that diversity and pluralism together. From my seminary training, I learned that our loving God desires to create a society of justice, peace, compassion, and harmony. This is very evident in any reading of the ancient Hebrew prophets, such as Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. The prophets call for building a society of justice, compassion, and mercy. In my own global experience in Papua, Indonesia, and with Native American culture, a very founda foundational core of lived culture is that the creator mystery created harmony and balance within all the diversity within a given culture. To the Asmat in Papua, there is unity and harmony between the spirit world, the world of the living, and the natural environmental world. The goal is to maintain that balance and harmony through love, mercy, justice, and compassion. In indigenous American creation stories, the creator mystery created all beings, gifted those beings with his spirit of love, and gave the created being a share in the ongoing creation of harmony and balance. I deeply believe in a loving God who speaks of his word of love as expressed in the prologue of St. John's Gospel. The word became flesh. And the Son of God, Christ, became human. The divine entered the human to reconcile the human and the divine, to reunite the human and divine in love and harmony. This is what Christ did. He ministered to the outsider, to the alienated, to the different, to the left out, to the diverse, bringing the other into harmony within community. That is the mission, the mission he gave all who follow. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Every time we, by our actions, bring about respect of diversity, of differences, and build community which respects communal diversity, we are contributing to the word become flesh. He taught us to pray, our Father who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our faith in a loving God is not a faith aimed only at afterlife. It is a faith to create salvation in our present time, in our nows, to create a society of respect, of compassion, of justice, of harmony, of peace in the present.